Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kripe Man. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to make a series of vines uh, for this uh, fake little wall that we made. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, uh, vines can be done in a couple of different ways. You can go through the, sp the spline modeler, which I did with this little guy right here. Excuse me, golly. Uh, and I made, I made uh, what I did here is I made a real small grid uh, doing command J and made the grid space into uh, 0.25 feet. This is in the medium scene if that makes any difference. I don't, even, I don't think it really does. Uh, then I went through here and then I smoothed all the points. I just did little zigzag lines uh, snapping to grid. Bing, 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 bing. And then smooth, 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 smooth. Right? That's how I did that one. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it in the vertex modeler. And uh, in the vertex modeler I, I I'm trying to come to terms with uh, the vertex modeler, right? I, I, uh, it's not as easy as uh, like Moto or uh, Cinema 4D, but I'm trying to, uh, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it. Uh, and so, uh, in that, in the spirit of that, what I'm doing is we're going to make our vine in this. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make a little circle right here. When you let go of it. Uh, the number of points is 20. Kapow. And then you have the ability to uh, increase or decrease the resolution by doing your plus or minus, but we're not going to do that. Kapow. Now let's go ahead and face the front. And let's make our, our uh, grid smaller. Spacing 0 0.25, 0.25, kapow. And now we're going to get our interpolated curve, which I've been calling it interopulated for a long time, putting an O in there. And uh, yeah, learn something new every day, even in stuff you didn't that you thought you already knew. Uh, take your interpolated curve. Uh, let's do a Command J again. Let's go ahead and snap it to grid, to kapow. And we don't want to stray too far on either side of of the uh, line here. You don't have to make it you can probably freestyle a little bit more but I'm going for kind of a a generic uh, vine and you can do it this might be a little too perfect. The human eye kind of picks up on on consistency and inconsistency so that might be a little too too good but we'll see. Uh, go ahead and put that and let's go to our director's camera and do this select uh, take our extrusion and then select this guy kapow let's uh, delete don't touch anything just push delete and select all move this sucker up to the middle and that might be a little too much uh, let's go ahead and take this again. Shift S, and then this little interface changes. It's 30 30. Let's make it uh, 10. Oh, what am I doing? Point 10. Point 10. And point 10. Enter. Now. Take this again, it's selected. Now do our extrusion. It's probably gonna be way little now. Now do delete. All compound. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a little bit better. Drop our shader on here. Uh, vertex object compound. Let's see what we got. Ah, you saw a preview of what's going to happen. And that's that's a little too consistent, maybe. Looks like a sine wave. But whatever, we're going to work with it anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that our hot point is where it needs to be. Hot point to object. Because it's going to be important when we start replicating this on here. Let's jump back in here real quick and let's see what's the size shift s 
11, 22, let's do 20. It's going to stretch it out a little more. Help with the effect. And bring it right in line with our wall. All right. Now, one more thing, and then we're gonna then we're gonna start putting this all together. I'm gonna make a little leaf. I'm gonna show you a quick little way to make a leaf too. Uh, let's go to the front. We don't talk enough about magnets, but magnets are your friend in certain certain places. Go ahead and make a circle and Shift F, and we're going to tessellate this sucker vertex to center it all goes to the center and when it does this it makes the line in the middle the lines hidden by the by the grid line but there's a there's a line in the middle here there you go showed up a little bit so uh, yay yay for that why did what does that matter because you can push symmetry on this shift E let's go to the front Push symmetry and then you can start manipulating things. Let's play with the magnet. Let's bring this down to point 10, point 10, point 10. And now no, you can manip you can manipulate this. Uh, deselect everything for a second. Now do your magnet. And now let's just start pushing things in. And this does it a little bit easier than if you select it and it, it brings your brings your uh, a different influence to the to everything. Let's do bumpy and let's do this 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and you can kind of get a better idea of what we're doing here. See how this kind of brings the other vertices in. Uh, you know. Uh, gradually and do this general uh, motion kapow there we go sucker Let's select all uh, size this sucker oh save and bring this down to 50% pal do 50% again oh. bring this to 50% kapow and do it again shift or 50% kapow and you can just keep adding keep 50% and with just pushing 50% and enter and it'll it'll shrink your leaf a little bit now let's uh, play with the leaf from the top and I should have done this after now my now my influence is going to be bigger than the leaf but whatever I'm going to do it like this yikes now I could still do this Pow. Yeah, it's supposed to be a quick and easy leaf. Let's let's add this and uh, let's uh, throw a little uh, shader on it. Kapow. Oh yeah. Let's jump back in here again. It's going to matter when uh, a little bit later. We're getting ready to replicate this. This is the, this whole build up over here has been to uh, build up to a replication. Uh, what we want to do though is we want to make sure that our uh, that everything's set up correctly before we do all this and the way that we do this shift R uh, 180 180 the way that we do this is uh, having everything set up the way it's supposed to be beforehand our leaf is sticking out this way our vine is sticking this way now are we ready for this let's go ahead and uh, yeah one more thing shift R I should have made this like a two-parter, probably, but whatever, whatever. Make our push caps lock. Uh, 
Let's bring this down over here. Come on, baby. Caps lock. Bring that to the... Use this little guy as your guide. Use your outline as your guide. Then bring it down to where if you rotate it, it'll rotate at at the uh, at the hot point as where at where you put the hot point. Now, got our vine. Let's go ahead and call it vine just to make it vine and leaf. L E A F Kapow. All right, we're ready for this. Let's uh, throw our replicator on here. Double click, choose our vine, kapow, add leaf, kapow. And let's see, have our surface replicator show our leaves. Let's see how they're doing. How they doing? They're doing pretty good. They're running into each other a little bit. Let's see if we can fix that. Uh, bring this out 180 degrees. Uh, bring the object count down to 25. There we go. That makes things a little bit easier. Kinda. If you want to move your leaves around, you can do that. If You can keep them from touching each other by taking the original leaf and then moving it around. This will give you a little bit of a a little bit of a twist. Now here we go. This is going to make a difference. Oh, actually, let's shift S and bring the bring these down. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, okay, whatever. We'll play with that. This has gone kind of gone on quite a bit. So let's uh, see if we can tie this all up. Take our surface replicator. And uh, la, 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 la. surface replicator, double click, create real instances. We only got 35, so that's not going to be a problem. Kapow. It's going to give you an, a create instances. Yes, we want to do that. And shuffle. Oh. Actually, we're going to have to delete this. We got this. Now that we deleted this, we can go ahead and attach this to this just drop it right on there now when you move your vine you move your leaves is that all we can do no it is not here's what we're going to do we're going to take our vine and we're going to add another replicator and since these are together we're going to add another surface replicator we're going to put it in here do this do all the steps that we did before take our plane as our source object let's take our vine Good pal. Uh, we're going to have to undo everything that we did here. We're going to take our. Oh, no, this that was. I hadn't showed you this before. It's going to try to encourage you to have your vines go through your wall. Take your align object to normal off, and it's going to hang very nicely. And you want to. While we're in here, let's go ahead and do a 90 degree uh, turn of the, of the vine. And this is. This is going a lot quicker than the, I didn't want to have to try and put all this information. This is the most important part. This should have taken longer than anything. But uh, now let's go ahead and do a render. And you notice that you have vines all down your wall. It, now it's not pretty, and it can be adjusted a little bit. But we're not going to worry about that too much. But look at how uh, viney it looks. How consistent it is. Uh, you can increase the number and kind of uh, do a shuffle uh, number of objects found a, found a place on the surface kapow kapow oh is it gonna crash don't crash oh it's gonna crash that's it for this time I'm Crate Man and I'll talk to you again later bye